in 2016. The Wrestling Gens Simulation League and Wrestling Gens CAW League made their worldwide debuts. Later in that year, Wrestling Gen Sims WrestleOlympics aired as the Olympics were going on. Soon after the WrestleOlympics ended, Wrestling Gens returned, but only for a short time, as the Wrestling Gen studios were destroyed by the one known as Killer G. In 2017, Wrestling Gens Two leagues returned, merged together, and were rebranded to the WGL, Wrestling Gens League, where it competed in the GM Town against Luxus's Taiji Ninja World Wrestling League in Boss Ease, M vs. DC Wrestling, and Impact Plus. After about a year of battling for views, WGL merged victorious. This victory in 2018 led to WGL returning on its own and making the transition from shows being run under GM Challenge rules to the way WGL wanted to. During the transition, Kill G reared his head again and once again destroyed the studios of WGL. But now, in 2020, WGL returned to revolutionize video game wrestling. This is the Wrestling Gens League. This is Rebirth. Pretty cool that a woman is the man now. Yeah, brother. No question who the man was in our day. No doubt at all. Zero. Yeah. Crystal clear. Thank you. 
in there and had to start this mess. He's saying, you know who the man is.
Hogan square off. Sting and Austin square off. And the man who retired, Ric Flair, HBK, squares off. Ric Flair. Brett and Hogan go outside the ring. Looks like Sting and Austin are go outside the ring. Flair on top of us. HBA giving him the business to the face. Ooh. Austin outside giving Sting a vicious clothesline. And Hogan looks like he's dominating Bret Hart right now. As we look into the ring where only falls can happen. Flair trying to in advance with the bear hug as Bret Hart and Hogan enter back in the ring. What's Flair going for here? A pile driver? Oh! He nails a pile driver early. Could HBK be the first one eliminated in this match? As Hogan gets suplexed by Brett the Hitman Hart. Flair staying on top of HBK. Ooh, blocks the kick. Oh, dragon whip. Flair and HBK. Back to being the only two in the ring. The other four men take it outside. Who will move on to the WBL Unified Universal Title Ladder Match? What was that from right there? Must be too hot for him out here on the baseball field. Ooh, HBK feeling it, ready to give him a pile driver right back. I think whoever gets eliminated first is going to be either HBK or Ric Flair. They're the only two who seem to want to keep it in the ring. Well, maybe Hogan wants to keep it in the ring, apparently. Maybe he's ready to end Bret Hart. This thing and Austin stay out of the ring. Can't get pinned if you're not in the ring, I guess. And Hogan and Brett go back outside. And so Flair and HBK continue their battle in the ring. Kick to the face and the face. Misses with the punch. And HBK goes on the attack. It's great for WGD at Oila. It's great for WGL to be back with this week-long day per view. Who is right? Ooh, I thought Flair was going for a pin. Instead, he gives him the knee drop. No pin attempts that would hit yet. Neither does some Flair as Hogan and. Hart come back in the ring for the third time. Logan, round and pound on Bret Hart. It looks like HBK and Ric Flair might take it outside as Hogan and Bret Hart pound inside. Ooh, nice cross body from Bret, taking down the biggest man in the match. And probably the strongest man, when you think of it. wrestler out of the top six. I mean, I almost said five because I don't think anyone's going to say, yeah, Hogan's the best technical wrestler. Though, when he was younger, he was pretty good. But since he got bigger and older, he just went to his trusty new set. As almost everyone's in the ring now except for Hogan. Going for the first pin attempt of the rep. It's up. Mm. Only gets a one. And now Sting and Steve Austin share the ring with everyone else on the outside. The competitor is mostly staying paired up against the guys they started with. Oh, oh Michael's into the stairs. Vicious. Bret Hart comes back in. Ooh, a little teamwork from 
Well, I thought Brett was going to follow up that move from Sting with the elbow drop. And Sting in. No one's in the ring now except for the ref. Bret Hart and Sting both going after Hogan. Sting accidentally catching Bret. Probably doesn't mind getting that hook in. But Sting and Hogan now share the ring. Oh, Bret's coming in too. I thought Bret would go after Austin. And in comes Austin. Major clothesline from Hogan. It looks like Austin might be ready to give a stunner to somebody. It looks like Sting might be that guy. Is Flair and is that it for Sting? Is he not the man? The ref, one, two, three. Sting is eliminated. Sting is not the man. Shawn Michaels rolls out. Catches a breather. As Bret, Bret Hart goes for the pin on Hogan. I'm not sure what he did. I didn't catch to see what he did to think he was going to get the pin on Hogan there. As now Ric Flair and Steve Austin have paired off. Hogan and Bret Hart still going after each other. Nice elbow drop from Flair. Got some distance on that. What did Bret got prepared for Hogan here? He's going for the sharpshooter. As Ric Flair goes for the pin, the ref doesn't know what to do. Oh, he's confused. Goes for the finally goes for the count, and he gets Austin. Austin is eliminated. Steve Austin is not the man. So to be fair, he never claimed he was. And now we've got a four-way elimination match. We have the Golden Era, two best. Versus the 90s, two best. This early 90s. Oh, sharpshooter! Is the ref in on this? There is rope break on this. No people like rope break. And a new DQ in a match like this? Like, yeah, you can still not be able to pin a guy. If you're not going to be able to pin a guy, why waste the energy? Or submit a guy? Why waste the energy? Uh, and holding on a hold when it's not going to matter. Big backdrop from Brett as Ric Flair superplexes Shawn Michaels. Oh, big spear! Day for you will cover WWE 2K. Oops, nice things are very on the outside by Shawn Michaels. We'll cover WWE 2K20 and 2K18. 2K18 is for what we call simulated wrestlers, as well as our creator wrestlers. list of matches we have for you for this pay-per-view day-per-view yes remember day per view Hogan and Sean this SummerSlam rematch right here Ooh, nice move there from Hogan So anyway, what we have for you is the Who's the Man six-way six elimination match you see here. We also have another six-man elimination match between Okada, Kota Ibushi, Kenny Omega, Cody, Austin Aries, and a mystery entrant, which we believe is Naito, but we're not sure yet. We also have a triple threat match between Buddy Roberts, Dean Ambrose and Bam Bam Bigelow. And we have our creator wrestler six man elimination. Oh, we got a pin attempt from Bret Hart. Not enough. Hogan going for the leg drop. 
Can he finish? Shawn Michaels with the leg drop. One, two, three. HBK is not the man. Oh, Hogan stops Brett from slapping on the sharpshooter. Big power. Body slam. Leg drop. Goes for the pin on Brett. Ref heads up. One, two. Oh, he kicks out. Hogan can't believe it. He's like, ref, what in the world? Our creator wrestler six-man elimination from our great CAW League, which will continue, and we'll get more into that uh, when we do that match, will be, be between this guy, hashtag the Sea Dog, as I take on Kai Gi from KNWWL, Donald Trump, Lord Zed, Captain Jack Sparrow, and a mystery entrant. And then there's a 2K20 10-man rumble between Jinder Mahal, Goldberg, Roman Reigns, Andre the Giant, Undertaker, Triple H, Cesaro, Keith Lee, Brock Lesnar, and Matt Hardy. The winners of all those matches will meet in a ladder match at the next pay-per-view for the WGL Unified Universal Title. We also have two tag matches in a normal tag match we have Rock and Roll Express versus Adam Page and a double dutying Cody Rhodes. And in a WGL team rules match, that means no pin and you gotta eliminate both competitors of the team. You have the bar, Cesaro and Sheamus. Sheamus, I mean Cesaro also doing double duty. Versus Matt Hardy and Bray Wyatt. Matt Hardy doing double duty. And the winners of those two teams will meet at the next pay-per-view in a ladder match. By the way, the next pay-per-view is an all-ladder match. Day per view. As Hogan and Bret Hart battle outside as Ric Flair tries to... Oh! Hogan's cut open! Oh my god, he just head-butted Bret Hart with his cut open head. One match is already official for that all-ladder match pay-per-view as Alexa Bliss battles Charlotte Flair in a ladder match for the WGL Universal Unified Women's title. Oh, Hogan is taking it to Brett. He is not happy about getting cut open. Ric Flair should not have just laughed at Hogan. This Hogan is taking it to Ric Flair now. Oh, Ric Flair reverses Hogan and Brett both trying to recover from getting thrown into the stairs. Ric Flair ooh, gets trapped by Brett and he gets thrown into the stairs as Hogan lays lifeless inside the ring. Flair reverses and Hogan comes out to meet Flair, throws him in the ring. We got the two golden age top two doing battle as Brett catches his win. Body slam. Here comes the leg drop. Boom. Is that enough? Rope break. He was close enough to the rope. Hogan can't believe he made that error. Oh. People getting surprise attacked when you got three way like this. You gotta keep your head on the swivel. Hogan with the headlock and the punch as Ric Flair rolls out, catches his breath. Smart bedroom move right there. Hogan taking it to Brett. Hogan going to the second row. Barely makes contact, but makes contact. Brett is having issues right now. Misses, oh, misses one close on, hits him with the other. Brett back in control. Kick and DDT. Brett rolling. Pile driver. Jumping pile driver. Jeez, he beats. Hogan's toes curl back. 
And it's not enough. Brett can't believe it. Rick goes in the attack of the down Hogan. Poking the eyes from Flair. Not not enough to ooh, nice neck right here from Brett. Hogan trying to get up. Brett ma concentrating on eliminating Flair. Nice drop kick. Hogan rising from the ashes. Oh, gives Brett the business to the face. Nice leg whip from Brett Hart. He's got both his golden air guys down and hits him with the leg drop. Is he gonna try to pin him with? Oh, that would have been great if he tried to pin him with a leg drop. Looks like he's going for a power driver, maybe. Hogan with a spear? Brett rolls out as Hogan and Flair go at it now. the abdominal stretch. I'm going to doubt that Hogan will tap out from this, but you never know. That's a great thing about these simulation leagues. You never know. Kick. Looks like we got a pile driver from Rick on the Hogan. Hogan looks like he is done. Flyer pulls him away from the ropes. One from Hogan's mistake. Goes for the pin. One, two. Not enough. Hogan kicks out. Oh, I thought he was going to hook up. He just barely kicks out. Brett with the hold on. Now Brett going on the attack. Back breaker to Ric Flair. Brett goes back to Hogan as Flair escapes. Ooh, that's changing blows here. Working the leg. Counter wrestling here from Brett and Hogan. Big headbutt, now they're both bleeding. And Hogan with the Fez press. Pulls him to the middle of the ring. And now he starts choking him. Hogan, it wouldn't matter if you were choking him near near the ropes or in the middle of the ring. It'd been a well maybe. No, it wouldn't it would have been nothing. Anyway, body slam. And here we go, the big leg drop. Is that enough? One, two, three. We're down to Hogan and Flair. Flair looks like he has nothing left as Hogan is rolling. Suplex. Not much of a snap on that one. As I imagine, Hogan has worn out himself a bit. Oh, into the post. Hogan wants to hear it from the crowd. Throws him in. Belly to belly. Ric Flair escapes. Hogan slides out. Big body slam. Ooh, flare counters, throws him into the post. Now Hogan is having issues. Ric Flair in the ring. Bret Hart finally gets up from what he went through. Ric Flair getting a higher viewpoint, saying goodbye to Bret Hart. Ric Flair trying to get Hogan in the ring now, I believe. Yep. Yep. Is he going to go for the figure four? Nope, decides to work the back. And now he's choking Hogan. Hey, it worked for Hogan to get rid of Brett. Pulls him to the middle of the ring. Is he going to slap on the figure? No, it goes for the pin. You can cut the tension with a knife. Oh, what? I don't want to get sued. You can cut, scoop the tension with a spoon. Mm. Big knee drop. Is this enough? Ooh! Two and eight ninths. 
Hogan. Looks like he's hulking up. Sort of puts Flair in the headlock. Gives him a punch to the face. And now gets him in an arm bar. Is he going to make Flair tap out with this arm bar? Sajul Lee. Oh, it's countered. But Hogan gets a hold of the weaker Ric Flair. Oh, and Flair counters almost gets him out of the ring. Pulls him back in with a slam. He scrapes the face with his foot. Takes up Hogan. Gets him to his feet. To pull his legs out on him to go for the figure four. Is Flair gonna... <laughs> Flair gonna prove he's a man? Is Hogan gonna tap? Can he get to the ropes? He tapped out! Flair, the surprise entrant, taps out Hogan, wins the six-man elimination match. Let's look at some instant replays as Austin just pounding away on Sting. HBK getting kicked off by Flair. Flair dropping that big knee drop on Steve. Sharpshooter from Shawn Michaels. Just a cluster in that corner. And he will move on. 